Hi everyone, it's Rachel with Kent County Veteran Services. Today I wanted to talk to Reginald Ferrier and Nelson Soto, two of my co-workers. Uh, this past weekend they went on the men's only veterans retreat up to Peace Ranch and I kind of just wanted to get their take on it uh, because I've never been and I wanted to share it with everybody. So hey guys, thanks for jumping on super fast to talk to me. Well, hey Rachel. Hey, thanks um, for having us along. <laughs> So tell me, um, I know you guys left our office um, Friday afternoon. Can you guys kind of um, walk me through the weekend? And did you did you like it? Was it fun? It absolutely was. If I can uh, go first, I guess, Reggie. Um, absolutely. First of all, uh, it's it, uh, much closer than I thought. I I don't know why. I think it's the UP. I'm not originally from Michigan. Oh. So I guess it's the UP <laughs> that I thought that it was like an eight or nine hour drive and it was only like a couple of hours. And so first of all, it was much quicker. We got there much quicker than I thought that was. Already off to a good start. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and um, this doesn't necessarily have a lot to do with the ranch specifically, but very quickly, the camaraderie with other veterans was incredible, something that I haven't done in a while, not just because of COVID, but because of proximity. I, I've, been, a, a vet, I've uh, been out of the military for several years now, so I didn't have many veteran friends per se. Okay. So it, it was very good to meet them and to, to go through the experience with them. Um, and then COVID, obviously, it was a long time since I had been out with anyone other than my family. And even with my family, we've only gone out a handful of times sure. because of COVID. So it was all a great experience. Um, and specifically about Peace Ranch, um, it, I, I said one time at, at, at the fire uh, circle, I said, you know, it, it almost felt like a religious experience, especially on a Sunday. You know, we were all there, very peaceful with the eat with the horses and learning a lot, especially myself, uh, learning a lot about the horses and, and about the human mind, uh, about uh, how we process trauma. It was it was incredible. It really was both educational. It was fun. It was peaceful. It was relaxing. It was, it was great. I really enjoyed it. God, that's so good to hear. Um, Reggie, what was uh, what was one of your favorite things? Yeah, so the caveat what Mr. Nelson said, I mean, the, the moment you arrive there, um, take away from the camaraderie with the veterans, um, veterans from different walks in life, you're in nature. So you're just in nature, you're in, embracing nature, sounds, animals. There was, there was chickens, roosters, there was what, alpacas, alpacas, yes. horses. Yes. There was a lot of animals in nature. Um, me and Mr. Nelson both are kind of from city, city areas. Absolutely. So being, being in nature and then being around other people who are, they're more familiar with nature. It was, I would recommend this experience for any veteran. Um, it's a lot of nonverbal, a lot of nonverbal processing. You're just focusing on your five senses. And it's kind of like uh, just, just taking it all in and, and focused on every step. That's Amazing. So this was grant funded through the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency. So they paid for everything. They paid for your lodging. You guys got to go out to dinner a couple of times, um, have breakfast together. Um, so one thing that I wanted to kind of talk about is this was a weekend away, uh, men only. Um, one thing that's new to Kent County Veterans Services this year is we're doing like a equine therapy three times a month with uh, equine assisted development right here in town, right by Woodland Mall. I don't know if either of you are familiar with Woodland, um, yes. but right on the like yes. southeast side of town. Um, going up there, would this make you more likely, it's an, like an hour and a half session here in town to go check out equine assisted development now or equine therapy as a whole? M Mr. Nelson, I'll go first. Uh, okay. Without a doubt, many of us had no clue um, even us who work on our staff had no clue what equine therapy was. Sure. Um, and, as, and as we were there, they were basically telling us, hey, this is something new. Um, this is, is, is different than the norm. And there was a buzz about it. So to experience that, uh, without a doubt, I would experience something that's close to here. That's awesome. Nelson, do you think you'd check it out here in town? Oh, absolutely. I agree totally with Mr. Farrier. Um, I would absolutely go. It's much closer, you know, um, 
without a doubt. I'm, I'm very interested. In fact, uh, when we got done this weekend, I uh, spoke with Martha and, and explained to her that I absolutely thought it was a good idea that we uh, experienced the one uh, that's more local um, because I had such a great experience with the one up in Traverse City. Absolutely. That's awesome. So I'll put for everybody out there um, the link to our activities calendar down below um, that has the dates and times of all of our activities, including yoga, music, art workshops. Um, thank you two both so much for jumping on and chatting with me about your weekend. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Rachel. Yep. See you guys. Thank you, for, uh, uh, Reggie. See you later. All right. See ya. All right.